a few days after it happens, uh, there is a great deal of uncertainty among all participants in this unforeseen and uh, unprecedented uh, conflict that has emerged with the Brexit vote, where it, uh, a majority of 2% of the uh, people who have participated in the referendum has decided for Brexit, for leave. Uh, that amounts to 37% uh, or 37.5% of those eligible to vote. So it's not a very convincing. Uh, there have been a, a result, there have been calls for a second uh, referendum for um, all kinds of uh, negotiations. Uh, it is uh, uh, at this point uncertain what is going to happen. The reaction of Germany was a bit um, uh, divided between those who uh, uh, want to uh, demonstrate uh, that um, uh, this is uh, out means out and uh, as fast as possible uh, the tough line uh, which is motivated by the consideration that if you are soft on Britain in this situation others will be tempted to follow the British uh, example. On the other hand uh, the loss of Britain uh, uh, from the uh, EU will be a major blow and that is increasingly seen uh, by the uh, uh, governing elite in Germany. It will be an, a, a, a serious blow, a loss that uh, should, if it is all at all possible, uh, prevent it from uh, materializing and uh, therefore uh, there is a considerable hope that um, the uh, definitive Brexit with uh, Article 50, with negotiations with an uncertain status of a post-EU Britain can be averted and can be still uh, avoided. I think at one week after the uh, event it is too early to make a prediction on what the final outcome is. Uh, my feeling is my impression from today's news is that um, uh, there is uh, a uh, very lively debate going on behind the scenes between these two uh, tactics that can now be applied. I think it is uh, uh, future historians will uh, have a very harsh uh, uh, judgment of uh, the behavior of uh, Germany. Uh, it is always uh, the case uh, that winners blame losers. Uh, the losers are the southern periphery plus Ireland. The winners are uh, the northwestern uh, uh, participants of the Eurozone uh, and that is mainly means uh, Germany and the Netherlands and uh, uh, that's uh, that's it basically Finland is also among the, uh, the winners uh, uh, the German reaction of the winners representative of the winners is to insist on rules uh, and uh, the narrative that is being cultivated in Germany is that um, uh, if uh, someone uh, is in a, uh, a difficult situation, uh, it is only himself he has to blame. And uh, finger pointing and blame games are uh, the routine that has been uh, developed a very tough position in the negotiations uh, uh, on the weekend, uh, uh, 11th and 12th July 2015, show this very clearly. Uh, the re reaction of uh, Renzi, Italian Prime Minister Renzi, has been 
uh, to the Berlin strategy of dealing with this by saying enough is enough and that was a warning that uh, the uh, tough, uh, rigid German insistence on rules, austerity, privatization and structural reforms will no longer be tolerated uh, by a uh, majority of losers of the Euro regime. A, a compromise is not yet in sight, but among others, uh, the results of this uh, conference that we had here with Elia Map uh, have shown uh, that uh, new solutions, new ways out of the dilemma between uh, uh, the winners and the losers uh, are urgently needed and uh, are worth the effort of all intellectuals, elites and uh, uh, national publics to, uh, to be developed and uh, worth the efforts to be um, invented uh, in the form of new institutional possibilities that strengthen the EU in order to prevent such deep conflicts to recur in the future.